Chad Hasty here with the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time here on News Talk 790 KFYO. In Lubbock, you can listen online uh, everywhere at KFYO.com. Today is Super Tuesday, Western style, I don't know, whatever they're going to call it. CNN has Super Tuesday. Let's just say the probably the final Super Tuesday of the election cycle is finally here. Uh, you look at the state of California, it's the big state up for grabs today. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton fighting like hell to win the state of California. If you listen to all the professional pundits on TV, uh, what they will tell you is that Hillary Clinton will have this thing locked up uh, after she wins New Jersey tonight. The problem there is uh, if Hillary Clinton wins New Jersey, as she is expected to do, the networks call it, the networks say Hillary Clinton will be the nominee. That could hurt the votes for Bernie Sanders in California, which uh, those folks will still be going to the polls for hours after the polls close in New Jersey. Uh, the other problem for Hillary Clinton, and I guess for Bernie Sanders and Sanders supporters out there, is that Hillary Clinton, the only way that she really clinches the nomination is because of the superdelegates. And the superdelegates haven't actually voted. The superdelegates don't vote until the convention happens later this summer. So, yes, Hillary Clinton could clinch the Democratic nomination. However, it's only because of the superdelegates. If Bernie Sanders wins the state of California, maybe he picks up a couple other states as well. Hillary Clinton wins in New Jersey, does well in the other states. Remember, everyone's proportional uh, in the Democratic contest. Then if you take out the superdelegates, Hillary Clinton will only lead Bernie Sanders by around 200 or so delegates by the time the final counts come around. If you're Bernie Sanders, the big question is, do you stay in and do you fight? Uh, he was giving some signals, according to uh, those uh, on television uh, on Monday, that uh, he may uh, hang it up after this week, that he may uh, call for party unity, that he may say, hey, it's over, we gave it a good run, uh, we got our message out there, now it's time to unite behind Hillary Clinton. There's a divide within the Bernie Sanders campaign. Some say it's time for him to go and unify the party, Others say fight like hell, Bernie Sanders, and try to defeat Hillary Clinton uh, at the uh, at the uh, at the convention. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see what Bernie Sanders does. Uh, really, he can go either way on this. If he has a big win in California, it would not surprise me at all to see Bernie Sanders continue to be out there. Maybe not hit Hillary as hard as he has been, but instead state his case to the superdelegates, uh, but, and that is something that I can see working, uh, maybe for Bernie Sanders, uh, at least, uh, you know, in, in light of this unifying argument that the Democratic Party keeps putting out there. Uh, the other thing that could happen if Bernie Sanders loses California, it's really hard for him to make an argument to those superdelegates that he can bring people together and unify around his campaign, so I could see Bernie Sanders dropping out. If he loses Florida, even if it's just by a few hundred, few thousand votes, uh, I could see Bernie Sanders dropping out if he loses the state of California. So California, a very, very important state for the Democrats, for both Bernie Sanders and for Hillary Clinton. They both really want to win the state. And for Hillary Clinton, if she loses California, that's pretty embarrassing. Uh, now, the voters out there, what do they want? You know, it's supposed to be about you guys out there, the Democratic voters, not just about what Bernie wants, what Hillary wants, what the Democratic establishment wants. I think it's been real interesting that every report that comes out, it shows that Bernie supporters are very hesitant about joining Hillary Clinton. Uh, now, you heard the same thing coming from Cruz supporters, Rubio supporters, Jeb supporters about Donald Trump. Uh, I, I think reluctantly they are coming across to supporting Donald Trump. Uh, there are still a lot of conservatives out there. I, who are very uncomfortable with Donald Trump as the Republican nominee, uh, but people are starting to come around to Donald Trump. Uh, if I had to place a guess, I would say that most of uh, Bernie supporters will support Hillary Clinton at the end of the day, but there might be a few who say, you know what, I'm ticked off, this whole thing was rigged, I don't want anything to do with Hillary Clinton of the Democratic establishment. It could happen, and that could have an impact on the race going forward for Hillary Clinton against Donald Trump if she becomes the nominee. Tune in to the Chad Eastie Show, weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. Follow me on Twitter, Chad Eastie Radio. And don't forget, tune in, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time uh, on 790 a.m. KFYO in Lubbock and online KFYO.com. And, oh, yes, subscribe below to our KFYO on YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts below. Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, what do you think happens? California, big, big primary today. Have a good one, folks.